Hello everyone. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I hope that you can hear me and see me clearly. Praise God. Praise God. Trying to get this lighting. Got so many lights to be honest with you. <laughs> but praise God. Praise God. I'm going to wait for you guys to come on. Let me know if you hear and see me clear. You all know how we do it. Praise God. It's been a long time. How you guys doing? Um, well, first of all, <laughs> I am going natural. Hallelujah. You'll see, you see it. I'm going natural. No more no more chemicals. <laughs> Come on, sisters. It's time to natural. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with being natural. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. The second the makeup gonna go. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Cause I, I'm preparing. And y'all should be preparing too to meet our father. Hallelujah. So God bless you. I do have some serious things to talk about. Um it's been a while, you guys. Praise God, praise God. I've just been spending time with the Lord and um oh it's it's been good it's been good um i'm getting ready to push y'all up i may, maybe four books out y'all gonna love them oh you gonna love them they are prophetic books but not like you think because here's the deal i'm coming from a whole new perspective i was thinking i would be flowing with most of the people that are doing the prophetic but i'm actually going against the prophetic oh yes i'm in in my books i'm going against the prophetic how they are activating people that shouldn't be activated how they're making money off the prophetic oh I'm, I'm coming a whole different way trust me you guys are going to want to get them books i wish i could tell you the titles now but i can't it's gonna rock you guys where i mean god got me you know um wow just just busy Praise God, praise God. So anyway, I got a couple of questions and some things that God wanted me to talk about. One of the things that God wanted me to talk about today was the spirit of lust. He said that it's overtaking my people, Deanna, and, and it is, because some of you, you know, you get desperate, and desperate people do what? They do desperate things. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So this video is about the spirit of lust that's overtaking the church, not just the church, just people. I mean, it could be lust for money, lust for a man, lust for a woman, lust for a job. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You're doing everything that you think you want to do and not waiting for God, not not. Not understanding that if it's not of God, it's going to fall anyway. Come on, somebody. Accept a person, build a house. What? By God, you build what in vain. Come on, somebody. So God was telling me, especially those on the 40-day fast, you should be praying. You should be fasting. You should be consecrating. You should be getting closer to God. You should be asking God, if everything all right with my life, examine thyself. Come on, somebody. Don't make God humble you. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Because that's what's happening in this hour. People are getting humbled by God. That's why they're getting exposed left and right. Don't act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah to his name. So I'm telling you right now, God was saying, he said, it's time for you to examine yourselves. It's time for you to do things the right way. Quit trying to manipulate. Quit trying to do things that's out of order and, and putting God's name on it. Talking about God bless me. You're lying before God. Stop that foolishness. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. People know People know when you're lying by the way. They just don't say nothing. Hallelujah. Come on somebody. We're getting into some serious times. Persecution is getting ready to come. And if I haven't said anything about everything that's happening with all the shootings and the, the latest one with the the girl and the cop let me tell y'all something y'all know how i roll right in, in spirit and in truth if you all don't see that this is all ordained and propaganda then i don't know what to tell you i don't even have time to keep reiterating it i'm telling you all they want to do and i'm telling you it's going to get worse because they they need y'all listen to me listen to me listen to me i'm talking about in the spirit of god they need that gun law to drop and it's going to drop and nobody going to stop it so they're going to keep on killing unjustified come on somebody until all of a sudden they say we, we got to have the gun control law and oh wow, that's when all hell gonna break loose y'all don't hear what i'm saying because immediately after the gun law will be martial law and yet y'all still thought it was a game huh and one thing i've learned about the people of god y'all don't believe until it happened <laughs> and then y'all want to pray y'all better pray now Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you right now, it, this is the time where you examine yourselves. This is the time where you prepare yourself. If you was to die today or tomorrow, would you really go to heaven? Would you really be prepared to meet God? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because believe it or not, it's subtle. The enemy is so subtle. He's subtle. Oh, come on, somebody. He's subtle. You, you ever find yourself doing something and you say, why I did that? That's because you you didn't even know. I, I like to use what happened to Samson. Samson kept playing with Delilah, kept playing with sin, kept playing. Because sometimes sin good, huh? It feel good, huh? It look good, huh? Don't play with me. Y'all know what I'm saying. No, I like we all grown, supposedly. Hallelujah. But Samson had played so much until he told her. See, Samson was in love. But if you look at this scripture, not once did Delilah say she loved Samson because she saw game. She kept asking him, well, where's your strength? And 
you'll play with the enemy until the enemy will let you know, I don't want nothing but from you but your secrets. The secrets would make you strong. The secrets would keep you going. And then after they get the secrets, then they can attack you. And that's just what happened. Samson had told her the truth. My strength is in my hair. So she called in the Philistines and they cut off his hair. His strength was gone. But I, 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 wanna, I want you to understand like three scriptures before that. And it says that Samson didn't even know that God had left him. Y'all don't hear what I just said. That right there is the example of this whole video. Some of you don't know God of heaven left you. Mostly leaders. And I, I'm just being real. I'm just being real. I don't have time. That, that's why I backed up from um, doing lives and everything. I saw myself, and I'm just going to be very transparent because you need this. I saw myself drifting away because you can get, go through so much with tests and trials and life until you can start drifting away and start thinking weird. And what I mean by weird is thinking worldly. And, and you, sometimes you got to pull yourself back and say, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, honey, let me tell you something. I ain't trying to be no star. I'm trying to get to heaven. I could care less about being a star because all this stuff going to go one day. All this stuff going to be rubble and stubble. Come on, somebody. I want to be saved. I want my soul saved. I want to see my mother again. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. And ain't nobody going to stop that. Hallelujah. So sometimes you need to get, catch your own head. Ain't nobody got to tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, some of you don't even know that God have left you. You used to pray. You used to commune with God. You used to get in that word. You used to talk about God. You used to witness about God. Now, it's all about that money. It's all about branding. It's all about making a name. It's all about being successful. It's all about the top followers. It's all about this and that. And to be honest with you, they ain't even real. Oh, I I'm coming in my books. And yes, I ain't saying no names, but I am dropping some names. Oh, I know they're going to come from. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about some people in them books. I sure am. Because guess what? God is not pleased. You, you, you are a false prophet. P-R-O-F-I-T. And I see you. And I'm coming for all y'all. Yes, I am. And, yeah, and you can come for me too. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody scared. Sitting up there taking people to hell because you want a dollar. Hallelujah. Because ain't everybody apostle and ain't everybody prophets. Y'all need to stop that foolishness. They read a book and all of a sudden they're a prophet. What the heck? Somebody lying. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? I'm tired of all this foolishness. So I know what to do. I know how to back up and go, with, and go into hiding with God. Getting more powerful. So then when I really step out the cave this time. Oh, it's on. If y'all don't see it in my eyes, it's on. Something is happening. There's a transformation that I've never felt before in my life. And I'm telling you right now, them demons better be very scared because I'm coming. And I'm, I'm going to be more powerful than ever. You hear me? Ever. And, and that's not arrogance, baby. That's confidence because I'm spending time with God. Anybody that spends time with God can stand before anybody. Hallelujah to his name. And some of y'all need to start doing the same. Quit trying to chase this and chase that and chase after God with all your heart. Because what's it for you is for you. One thing I stopped doing is chasing people. Either you love me or you don't. And I really don't care. Hallelujah. Because the true ones going to hang in there. The fake ones, you going anyway. You just want a certificate. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Most of the people that took my prophetic classes, you think I didn't know that all you wanted was an ordained ship? But let me tell you something which you did not understand. You got ordained, but you ain't got sustained, meaning that I didn't license you. Hallelujah. I wasn't that crazy. Mm. Don't, don't, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Because I'm on one. Hallelujah. Been fasting and praying. <laughs> Full of the Spirit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You think I won't go call it out? I'm calling out everything. Sit up there playing games. Don't you know God see you? God see all of us, even me, so don't get it twisted because I get corrected too. Hallelujah. But I'm just saying it is time to be real and stop playing. Y'all been playing too much. You ain't got no power. Can't even lay hands on your own self in this hour. And them demons, they getting stronger and they coming. Y'all don't see that the battle is on? Y'all don't see that the spiritual warfare is getting heightened? That's why people are dying. That's why you're seeing more evil. And y'all sitting up there playing games? Money ain't going to be able to save you. A name ain't going to be able to save you. But only the power of God going to be able to save you. What you going to do when they come for you? Hallelujah. Y'all better boot up, soldiers. It's a war. It's a spiritual war. Hallelujah. This ain't no game. Hallelujah. So I'm telling you, this video was about the spirit of lust. It's time to catch your head, not catch your head. Tighten up your circle. Tighten up. Hallelujah. Do what's right. Come back to the oracles of God. Come back to the order of God. Chase after God with all your heart. Return to your first love. The rest of that stuff ain't worth it. It's only a facade. <sighs> It's not even real. <laughs> Alrighty then. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. And I'm coming back to back with some videos. Y'all know how I do it.
I realize so just because that is who you are.